Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about a problem that is valid parenthesis or brackets. Okay. So here's the question: A valid parenthesis sequence is a non-empty string where its character is either this first bracket or this either this opening brackets or this closing bracket. Okay. So we satisfy the following constant. So here is the constant. You can find a way to repeat erasing adjacent pairs of parenthesis until it becomes empty. Okay. So for example. Here you can see this and this. These two are the valid parenthesis sequence, but here these two are not the valid parenthesis. So if you see in the input, here is some parenthesis opening and closing parenthesis. So after removing these first two parentheses and these two parentheses, you can see our output will looks like this. So you have to show an output in such a way that there will be the opening brackets. So for the first. There will be some opening brackets, and after that, there will be same number of closing bracket. The ASCII value of the opening bracket of this first bracket is 40, and the ASCII value of this closing bracket is 41. Okay, so using this ASCII value, we can easily do this task. Okay, so for that, we will write the code. Okay, so first of all, write the basic format of the C++. Bits then slash standard C plus plus dot H then using namespace standard. Okay, so first of all, I'll write the main function here. So first, I'll write here the main function in main and inside this main function, take a string because here you can see this is a string and we have to return a string. Okay, so in the main function, first we'll Take a string from the user. Okay, so for the write a string. So so the name of the string is s and input it from the user. So for the scene s. Okay. So now write a for loop to iterate through the string. So for that write a for loop here for int i equals to zero i less than n. So what is n? N is the n is the length or size of the string. So for that you have to get the size of the string. That is int n equals to s dot size. Okay, so for int i equals to zero, i less than n and i plus plus. Okay, so inside this for loop, what we'll do? We'll check if this is a opening bracket or closing bracket. So how we'll check this? We can check this using the ASCII character. That is 40 or 41. Okay, so for that we'll check here if s of i if s of i equals to 40 if this is 40 that means if this is a opening bracket then we'll increase the value of a variable suppose the value suppose our count value is 0 so int count equals to 0 so this is the initial value of count okay so next if this is a opening bracket then we'll increase this count value so for that right here c plus plus okay else else what we'll do else we'll decrease this count value so for that right else c minus minus okay so now we'll check for every i value the count will be stored into this c and after that so after every iteration we'll check so after every iteration we'll check if this count value is the maximum value or not so for that we have to count the total maximum value so for that right here under integer that is in t so this is for total okay now we'll check which is maximum t or c okay total or count so which is maximum so if t is maximum or c is maximum we'll store it into the variable t okay just store it into the t finally after iterating whole the string t will contains the length the maximum length of the opening bracket or closing bracket so here you can see after iterating whole of the string the t will contain the maximum that is if there is a maximum three opening bracket the t will contain three and if there is maximum three closing bracket it will also contain three okay so now we we'll print the output so how you print the output so for the write a for loop and for int i equals to zero i less than I less than what i less than t because we want to print t number of brackets okay so for that write a t and increase the i value and inside this print 
So what do we want to print? We want to print this opening bracket first. If there are t numbers of opening brackets, then we want to print the t numbers of opening bracket. Then we will print the t numbers of closing bracket. Okay. So our first task is to print these three numbers of opening bracket. Okay. So for that, we will write a for loop and for int i equals to 0, i less than t, i plus plus and here we will print. That is to print, write your c out and and we want to print the opening bracket and the ASCII value of the opening bracket is 40. So we want to convert it into character. Okay, so we don't want to print it into ASCII. So write here character and then 40. So 40 will be converted into character that is the opening bracket. Okay, and it will print. So if there are three opening bracket then will then it will print three opening bracket and after this there will be three closing bracket also so for that we will write another for loop okay so for that after this write a for loop that is for int i equals to zero i less than t i plus plus okay so inside this write the same thing but we want to print here the closing bracket and the ASCII value of the closing bracket is 41. So for that right here, C out and character 41. Okay. So this is done and let's run it. So it's run successfully and here you can see our input is this. So we have to give this input. Okay. So you can see this is perfect output. So our output was like this here in this code you can see this is the perfect output. Okay. So this is the whole code and you can check it by giving the another test cases. So hope you enjoyed this and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then take care.